Hey guys, uh, today just got a, another part in the mail. This is a, uh, we'll put it this way, it's a cosmetic mod. Uh, got it from American Muscle. It is the Mustang battery and master brake cylinder covers, okay? So, like I said, it's purely cosmetic. Uh, again, when I bought it from American Muscle, they're always on point with their delivery. Uh, it was, I think, 89 bucks, uh, but then I had a 5 or 6% off uh, code, so saved a few bucks there, so. I mean, it's kind of expensive for what it is. You'll see, it's just gonna be a piece of plastic that uh, just goes over the battery, and uh, the power steering, or the master brake cylinder side, so. Right here, I don't know what this is. The letter, uh, please read. We'll read it later, so. Next, we have the part itself. It comes with a little card in it. So this is, okay, I guess this, uh, the brand of this is California Pony Cars. So, CPC, kind of cool acronym. I don't know what this really is. Uh, I guess a warranty thing that we need to fill out and send in. But who does that? I don't. And right here are the two parts. So you got this one. You have this other one. And it has, you know, the little clips that you put in to kind of hold it in place at these holes. Okay, all I can tell you right off the bat is that the driver's side, you know, where the, the cylinder housing is, uh, people say they had to trim it up with a Dremel, so I'm gonna see how bad it is. Uh, and that's only for the Shelby's, okay guys? Uh, so we're trimming up, but what I wanna try to do this Friday, after doing a test fit on these, is uh, send them to the guy down in Mort to get these into carbon fiber. And again, uh, I'm really amped up about that. Um, it's gonna be looking the same carbon fiber print as on that, uh, the radiator cover. Uh, but the radiator cover uh, didn't have as much of a clear coat on. I called him up and he's like, you know, he can wet sand it and re-spray uh, it, but I didn't want to since I had all the stickers on it. But reason why it kind of looks flat still is because this is not like a completely smooth surface. So, it, you know, he usually puts on like two coats and it doesn't kind of fill in and get you that super saturated uh, wet look but he's gonna do it on this go round. So let's go put these on. Okay guys, to start off, uh, it was just gonna be these two little, I don't know what you wanna call them, little push pins, whatever, but you, they have a uh, Phillips head on it, so I guess just screw them out so we can get that hole exposed. You know what I'm saying? So take that out and take this out. Ooh, I don't wanna drop that, golly. Okay, so this one was a pain in the butt to get out. You know, we're trying to twist it out and it's not doing anything. So just kind of pinch the bottom closed and then start kind of screwing it out and it has something to grip a hold of and come out then. And this is what the little push pin looks like. You know what I'm saying? Focus, buddy. Okay, whatever. You get the point right there. Focus now. Easy stuff. So the battery side should just fit on without any trimming. Uh, and that white paper that I showed you guys earlier, uh, that was instructions. So I'll probably read it here in a little bit for the driver's side. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, it worked out pretty well, so. Uh, it keeps it snug. You know what? I'm thinking if if you bust those up and deform them since they're kind of dinky plastic pieces, might as well get like a uh, metal bolt and a nut, spray paint the tip or the bolt head, and you'll be good. So right here is going to be the problem. Okay, so on the driver's side, uh, what's going to interfere is the throttle body. So I do not have a Dremel, <laughs> which kind of sucks but I seem to just kind of like cut this out. I'm gonna do it like in several uh, iterations because I don't want to cut too much, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
But I'm going to go to the gym and then go to Home Depot and buy a Dremel so I can start work on that. And once that is done, I am going to send it off to uh, get hydro dipped, like I said. And what I also want to get hydro dipped is this intake. I think that would look nice if it looks like carbon fiber. And I'm thinking the coil over, or not coil over, sorry, but the coil covers right there on both sides. Get it painted black and get it hydro dipped to look carbon fiber. Okay, because the main goal when I'm all said and done is get this ported out and uh, painted black. So that is the ultimate end goal uh, after I get E and some other shit like that. But I think that will look pretty clean. And you know, if I don't like this, I mean, I, you can buy those on American Muscle for like, I can't remember, like 120 bucks or something for both of them. So it's not like, uh, it's like a, a fix that, or something you can't ever fix. You just gotta spend a little bit of cash to make it look original again. So, when I get back, I'll do some uh, iterations of cutting that out, and you guys will see how it looks and the whole process of it. Okay, just got back from the gym in Home Depot, got a Dremel set, so I kind of like sketched some uh, stuff up with the Sharpie. So I'm gonna probably try at this point, and then kind of keep coming around like that. Try small and kind of work your way out, because, you know, might as well be progressive on this approach rather than cut it a bunch out and then it looks like shit. Okay, like these little clips right here, I just got a pair of dykes and just snipped them off. Okay, I'm gonna use some really thin zip ties, zip tie them back up so they don't interfere because they're poking up too much and it was gonna get in the way. And then I'm gonna take this out. I got done doing the first pass on the cut in. Looks really rough, but kind of mocked it up and looks pretty good. I'll show you one second. Okay, right here, this first pass looks pretty damn good, honestly. So luckily we did not like really go back to the, so all I need to do is kind of like trim this spot up right where uh, we plug in the sensor. Okay, right here we're done. Uh, did some trimming, some sanding. You need to get really fine sandpaper, touch up the edges. I couldn't get this uh, marker off, the Sharpie. I used acetone, I used uh, rubbing alcohol, that kind of stuff. Still not working, so wait. I suggest you guys do, don't uh, use a Sharpie. Use something less permanent. But this is it, man. So uh, next time you see this, uh, you should be seeing it hydro dipped, looking clean as fuck. Hey guys, I just got back. The parts I sent out to get hydro dipped, they look phenomenal. But uh, heads up, the intake uh, kind of looks rough. I'll explain to you uh, what the problem was, but uh, Jeff, who was more that, did the hydro dip, and he explained it to me, and I mean, I totally understand and agree with him. But the, the what is it, the coil cover uh, thing, I can't even think of the name right now. It looks great. Turned out way better than I was expecting, so uh, we'll show you guys what they look like right now. Okay, guys, I just set these out in the sun just so you can see a little bit better, but they look phenomenal. So these are going to be like the battery covers and all that kind of shit. But I had uh, Jeff put on an extra few layers of clear coat so it looks, you know, smooth as hell. I might have them uh, wet sand that radiator cover and put another few clear coats on later down the road. But I gotta take the stickers off. The coil covers, honestly, turned out freaking amazing. A lot better than what I was expecting. Uh, was not <laughs> expecting it to come out this clean. Looks so polished as hell. Like, you can't even see one imperfection. And then the last thing, the intake, uh, it doesn't look too bad. Jeff was saying that uh, you could uh, make it look a lot better, but the problem was that uh, it is so rough, and if you guys have the JLT intake, you know what I'm talking about. So he, his uh, input was, you know, you know, we could uh, sand it down really well, uh, put some filler in it, and then it will look smooth as hell, but he did two uh, coats of uh, the film, and, uh, and then just clear coated the shit out of it. So I mean, it doesn't look 100% good, but you know what? For what, like the, the difficulties he had to overcome, I think it looks phenomenal. Honestly, he did an excellent job. And he did both sides. So that second film he put on got the back side too, which you know, we're not gonna see, but again, excellent quality. All this was about $225. 
and I thought that was a pretty decent deal so I'm gonna put his uh, link uh, down in the description so you guys can check him out if you're in Oklahoma City you know for the local guys okay but before I start putting the stuff back on I'm gonna give uh, this engine bay a rough dusting and cleaning just kind of get the dust knocked off uh, one problem I know we're gonna have to do because it was causing interference is this little uh, protector sleeve on the, the positive terminal on the battery I think we might have to take that out because it keeps pushing up and then you see the red I mean you, you guys heard that in the uh, earlier part of the video but let me clean the engine bay up and then we'll put these on and I'll back the Shelby out get some little bit better light and show you guys what it looks like Alright guys don't give me shit I think the Swiffer at least on the inside doing the interior does a freaking awesome job getting the dust and stuff so I'm gonna try it out on the engine bay so we'll see uh, if it works as well Look who it is. Osman showed up to help out. So who are you calling? That was Caleb, your baby daddy. Like, he called me, he's like, hey, what's up? I'm on break. You gonna go grab lunch? <laughs> so, well, you wanna try to meet up with him? Or, like, is he on right now? Yeah, he just went on his break. Oh, fuck, man. So there's Austin helping out again with this uh, installation. So it looks pretty sweet. Right here's uh, the uh, intake. Looks pretty good, honestly. You got the cover underneath it, which is probably my favorite one, so the whole uh, set. This looks great, again. Everything's matching up. Um, yeah. Yep, oh yeah, we got this one. Like it, man, that looks retardedly good. And then the battery cover, and it fits pretty well with that red. Uh, kitchen thing out of the way so that is it guys next thing for the engine bay mod is when i get this ported it's going to be black and we'll be done so peace out guys and uh, again if you're in the city meet up with austin and the group and uh let's go to mexico and hang out with us all that kind of shit follow us on facebook i'll put the description in the link or the link in the description and uh also i'll put the uh, the group's uh, instagram in the description below but as always peace out and uh, subscribe to us